Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we are carrying on with the Cricut Joy foil transfer kit. This is so exciting. Don't forget with the foil transfer kit, you can use it on desktop and in the Joy app as well. We're using it on desktop today and I'm going to show you how you can do a multi-layered project. I just wanted to show you the different card sizes that you can work with. So this is an A6 image and currently in the UK we have the A6 foil insert card pack. Then we have A2 which are the current size of insert cards we have in the UK. And then you have A1 as well which are the smaller sizes. We don't yet have the A1 or the other A6s but they are coming so I just wanted to show you the difference. We used A6 in our last video so for this one we're just going to use a normal sized A2 insert card. So I'm going to get rid of this one and this one and you can see that we've got cut and pen and we're also set to joy as well and to get this I just went to images, typed in insert card and you can see here, we've got A6, A2, and A1. I'm going to change that pen to foil. So I'm going to come up to operation and change it to foil. And as we know with the Joy Foil system, we only have the one tip, which is the equivalent of the medium tip in the Explore or Maker model. And I'm just gonna change the color on that to Emerald. I'm then going to select the whole item and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to duplicate it so that I've got three duplicates. And then I'm going to draw around all of them, align and center so they're perfectly on top of each other. I'm going to select this top foil and I'm going to change it from green to purple. I'm then going to come down to the bottom of my layers panel and open up my contour tool. You can see all my foil pieces there and I'm going to hide all contours. Don't forget it will always leave that top one. I'm then going to bring back all of those little bubbles. And, don't, and then of course I can get rid of that top layer and I can close it down. And if we just hide our two green ones, you'll then see all those purple ones. Our next layer of foil, I'm going to change that to aqua. Again, I can open up my contour. I'm going to hide all contours. And don't forget, it'll always leave that top one. And this time, I'm going to bring back my butterfly pieces. And don't forget that you can, of course, zoom in. And then, of course, we can close that down. I'm then going to select my green layer, open up my contour. And this time, rather than hide all contours, I'm just going to take away those bubbles and my butterfly so that I'm left with just my green leaves. And we can then close that down. You can then see our different color layers there. I'm then gonna get rid of two of those cuts because I don't need them. We can then draw around everything and attach all of those together so they go on the same mat. We can then go to make it. You can see we're going to select on a card mat. We've got the material size. Doing this on a medium card, so we're gonna make sure that that one is selected. And we've got on a card mat. And it says medium foil basic cut. We can then go to continue. And we're going to select insert card cardstock. And it's telling us we need to put in our transfer tool for it, and our emerald foil onto our card. So I've got my insert card packs here. This is the A2 size and it's black and holographic silver. We've then got the jewel 
foil sampler. So we've got emerald, purple and teal in here. And we've got our Joy card mat. I'm always going to make sure I take the dust cover off my Joy mat. And make sure you always put this back on because it will stop it from getting dusty and dirty. I'm then going to take out one of my cards and I'm going to slip it under my insert card mat and then fold that down. And just make sure that that's nice and stuck onto our insert card mat. We are starting with emerald first, so we're going to place that onto our insert card. I've got my pre-cut tape strips. I like to grab the foil first and then place that down. And you'll see that I've got a little bit on the mat there. It's not the end of the world. It's not gonna affect the stickiness of the mat. It's just that I've got a little bit of foil transfer, but of course I can cut that down if I want to. Again, I'm gonna grab that foil first, pull it nice and taut, and then tape that down. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the sides. I'm then going to remove my premium blade and I've got my foil system tip already in the housing and I'm then going to place that into Joy and close that clamp. We can then insert our card mat and it's telling us to select go. It's now telling me not to unload my mat, but to remove my emerald foil, make sure I've got my tip in, which I have, and to add in my aqua foil. So I'm going to come in, I'm not going to unload the mat, I'm just gonna pull back that tape. And just a tip, what I like to do is rather than pull up the tape, I roll it back, because it will reduce any pull up on my cardstock. Not so much with the insert cards, but with other cardstock I might use this with. So again, I'm just going to roll that back on itself and pull it back. And I can do the same with this piece here. I can then remove that emerald foil and any piece that I haven't foiled, I can reuse again. I've then got my aqua foil. I'm just gonna trim a little bit off the end so I don't add this onto my mat. Like I say, it doesn't matter, it doesn't affect it, but I don't wanna keep piling foil on and I also don't wanna waste that little bit. It's then telling us to remove our aquafoil and replace it with the purple. We can then unload our purple foil and then add in our premium fine point blade. So I'm just going to open up my clamp, remove my foil transfer housing and then add in my premium fine point.
And there we go, we have our layered insert card using the foil system on our Joy. Super easy, super fantastic, really nice and easy to use, great results, just brilliant. The whole point of Joy is that it's quick, easy to do projects and this foil system really does go in line with that. It's fantastic, it's so easy to use. As always, thank you so much for watching me. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave any comments or questions below. Don't forget we have a discount code for the American and Canada store and the UK Cricut store as well. And you will get 10% discount and free shipping using our code on both of those stores. And if you're an Access member, you get an extra 10% off. Well worth doing. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.